Hello everybody and welcome back to election night 2022. We have a lot of governor elections that are up for grabs tonight that will determine the outcome of many contested states and who will get to lead those states for the next four years or so. So without further ado, it is 7 o'clock p.m. on the East Coast. We have poll closings out of four states right here. And we can now project our first winner of the night. The Red Eagle Politics Decision Desk can now project that Henry McMaster has won a second full term in the state of South Carolina. And also Phil Scott, the Rockefeller Republican, the uh, left-wing Republican in Vermont, has been reelected as well for another term. So right now, Republicans have nine, Democrats have seven. Remember, you need 26 to have a majority in terms of these state houses. So we also have key race alerts out of Florida and Georgia. Out of Florida, Ron DeSantis with a nine-point lead. 36% of the vote is in Florida reporting their early ballots pretty quickly here. As well as the state of Georgia, David Perdue with a 21-point lead over Stacey Abrams. But keep in mind, a lot of that is coming in from very red rural counties. So now it is 7.30 on the East Coast. We have poll closings out of the state of Ohio, and we have a key race alert here. Jim Renacci, a lot of the early vote pouring in, uh, is defeating Nan Whaley very narrowly, but keep in mind a lot of that vote is from Cleveland and Cincinnati as well. So it is currently 8 o'clock p.m. on the East Coast. We have poll closings out of a handful of states here. And we can get into some projections right now. The state of Alabama, Linda Blanchard, the former uh, ambassador to Slovenia, who dropped out of the Senate race to run for governor to successfully primary Kay Ivey over her restrictions, now has won the governorship in the state of Alabama. Out of Massachusetts, Charlie Baker, who narrowly survived a primary to Geoff Deal, has been reelected in the state of Massachusetts for yet another term. Out of the state of Oklahoma, Kevin Stitt has been projected the victor uh, in Oklahoma. He will win a second term. Out of the state of Tennessee, Bill Lee has won another term as governor. And we also have some projections on the Democrat side as well. Out of the state of Connecticut, Ned Lamont has won another term in Connecticut. Out of the state of Illinois, J.B. Pritzker has been re-elected for another term as governor. Uh, out of the state of Maryland, we have our first flip of the night as Tom Perez has flipped the seat formerly held by Larry Hogan. Uh, Tom Perez, the first flip of the night, the former DNC chair, has won in Maryland. The Red Eagle Politics Decision Desk can also project Dan McKee, the winner of his first full term out of the state of Rhode Island. So right now, Republicans have a 13 to 11 lead over the Democrats here. So we have key race alerts out of Maine. Former Governor Paula Page trailing current Governor Janet Mills by roughly around six percentage points with 11% of the vote in. Out of the state of Michigan, Detroit Police Chief, former Police Chief James Craig currently defeating Gretchen Whitmer by two and a half percentage points, but just 15% of the vote in. Out of the state of New Hampshire, Scott Brown, the former Senator of Massachusetts, seems to be doing fairly well, 7% of the vote in. He currently leads by 6.61%. Out of the state of Pennsylvania, Josh Shapiro trouncing Lou Barletta so far, but a lot of that vote in is from the Philadelphia area. Out of the state of Georgia, Stacey Abrams narrowing David Perdue's lead, roughly a third of the vote in, Perdue hanging on by 11 points or so. Out of the state of Florida, 65% of the vote in, Ron DeSantis completely trouncing Nikki Fried so far. And it is currently 8.30 p.m. on the East Coast. We have poll closings out of the state of Arkansas. And we now can project that Sarah Huckabee Sanders will be the victor for the governor of Arkansas. Uh, running Donald Trump back in 2019. Wanted her to run when she stepped down from her press secretary position. It seems like she will be elected governor out of Arkansas. And we have a key race alert out of Ohio. Jim Renacci winning 55% of the vote. And he's up by 11. And we can now project Jim Renacci the winner in Ohio, he successfully primaried Mike DeWine, won the primary by 15 points, and now is, seems to be poised to become the next governor of Ohio. And Ron DeSantis, we now can project that Ron DeSantis has won a second term fairly easily uh, over Nikki Fried. So right now, you can look at this and you can see Republicans have 16 governorships, Democrats have 11. If Republicans get 10 more, they'll have an outright majority. So right now it is 9 o'clock p.m. on the East Coast. Poll closings out of another handful of states here and we can get to some projections. Out of the state of Nebraska, Mike Foley has won the current lieutenant governor. He has been projected the winner. Out of South Dakota, we can reluctantly project Christy Noem uh, to another term. 
Uh, out of the state of Texas, Greg Abbott, who narrowly survived his primary, has been projected the winner in Texas. Out of the state of Wyoming, the Red Eagle Politics Decision Desk can project Mark Gordon the winner of another term. Out of the state of New York, Kathy Hochul, who took over for Andrew Cuomo after his resignation back in 2021, has been projected the winner uh, for a first full term. So right now you can see Republicans at 20, Democrats at 12. Republicans need just six more governorships and they'll have an outright majority of state houses. Right now we have key race alerts out of Arizona. The polls have closed. Katie Hobbs defeating Carrie Lake. 42% of the vote in a lot of that is mail-in votes and early votes. Keep that in mind. Out of the state of Colorado, Jared Polis, current governor, is defeating Bob Beauprez by around nine points. Out of the state of Minnesota, Scott Jensen trails Tim Walls by roughly around 5% with 8% of the vote in. Out of the state of New Mexico, uh, former state party chair Steve Pierce trails Michelle Lujan Grisham by 5.5 points. Many said that she was vulnerable, but we'll have to see what happens. Uh, out of the state of Kansas, Attorney General Derek Schmidt with a solid lead over Laura Kelly with about a fifth of the vote in. Out of the state of Wisconsin, Jonathan Wichman is defeating Tony Evers by roughly around 4 percentage points, 12% of the vote in. Out of the state of Georgia, David Perdue, over half the vote is in. He maintains over a five-point lead over Stacey Abrams. Out of the state of Maine, 34% of the vote is in. Janet Mills defeating Paula Page by roughly 4.5 points. Out of the state of Michigan, James Craig, look at this. He's defeating, widening the lead over Gretchen Whitmer. He currently leads by over 4.5 points, roughly 38% of the vote is in. Out of the state of New Hampshire, Scott Brown is defeating Dan Feltes by 8 percentage points, over a quarter of the vote in. Out of the state of Pennsylvania, 28% of the vote in there as well. Josh Shapiro's lead narrows to roughly 6% over Lou Barletta. So we now can make a projection. The Red Eagle Politics Decision Desk can project Derek Schmidt, the Attorney General, the winner of the Kansas gubernatorial race. That is a flip, the first flip of the night for the Republicans. Also, New Mexico, we can project that Michelle Lujan Grisham has held on. And we also can project out of the state of Colorado that Jared Polis will hold on for another term. So right now, Republicans, they lead 21 to 14 so far. And it is currently 10 o'clock p.m. on the East Coast. We have poll closings out of three states, Idaho, Iowa, and Nevada. And we can now project Janice McGeechan, the winner out of Idaho, successfully primarying out the governor. She was the lieutenant governor. And now she is becoming the governor of Idaho. So we also have key race alerts out of Iowa. 17% of the vote is in. Kim Reynolds with a solid lead over Cindy Axney, who opted to go for the governorship uh, due to redistricting. Out of the state of Nevada, Joe Lombardo and Steve Sisolak in a dead heat with roughly an eighth of the vote in. Out of the state of Arizona, Carrie Lake has taken the lead over Katie Hobbs with two-thirds of the vote in. She leads by roughly 0.6%. Out of the state of Georgia, David Perdue hanging on. Three-quarters of the vote is in. He leads 51 to 47 over Stacey Abrams. And out of the state of Maine, Janet Mills expanding her lead over half of the vote in, leading over Paul Blapage by probably around eight points or so. Out of the state of Michigan, Gretchen Whitmer has taken the lead as a lot of the vote from Detroit and Ann Arbor has come in. 56% of the vote is in. Out of the state of Minnesota, 29% of the vote is in. Tim Walls with a four-point lead. Out of the state of New Hampshire, Scott Brown expands his lead to nine percentage points with half the vote in. A lot of Democrats had hoped for this seat, but not looking too good so far. Out of the state of Pennsylvania, Josh Shapiro's lead down to just 3% with roughly a half of the vote in. Out of the state of Wisconsin, 40% in. Jonathan and Wichman leading by seven as a lot of the rural part in the Wow County start to pour in here. And we can now project out of the state of Maine that Janet Mills has held on for another term, defeating Paul LePage. Out of the state of Iowa, the Red Eagle Politics Decision Desk can project Kim Reynolds the winner for yet another term. Out of the state of New Hampshire, the Red Eagle Politics Decision Desk can project that Scott Brown has won the governorship. A lot of pundits said that it wasn't really possible that Republicans were going to hold the governorship out of the state of New Hampshire after Chris Sununu opted to run for Senate, but nevertheless, they have done it. So Republicans need just two states uh, to remain in their column in order for them to hold a majority of the state houses. So it's currently 11 o'clock on the East Coast. Poll closings out of two states, California and Oregon. California, we can project that Gavin Newsom has won. Uh, he won the recall election last year. Uh, and it seems as if he will hold on, even though it looks to be by a slightly narrower margin than last year. Out of the state of Oregon, we can project that Tobias Reed 
has won the governorship there as well. Out of the state of Arizona, key race alert, uh, Carrie Lake expands her lead 85% of the vote in. She's up by roughly three and a half points. Out of the state of Georgia, David Perdue with a 3% lead over Stacey Abrams. 92% of the vote is in. It's looking like he's going to hold on. Out of the state of Michigan, three quarters of the vote are in. James Craig with a three-point lead over Gretchen Whitmer with pretty much all of Detroit and Ann Arbor in. Out of the state of Minnesota, Tim Walls with a roughly a six-point lead over Scott Jensen, roughly half the vote in. Out of the state of Nevada, Joe Lombardo expands that lead to two and a half points with 35% of the vote in. Out of the state of Pennsylvania, Lou Barletta has taken the lead, 71% of the vote in. He leads by less than one point, but nevertheless, he's on top. Out of the state of Wisconsin, ever slightly narrowing the margin, Jonathan Wichman uh, with a four and a half point lead, two thirds of the vote is in. And we can now make a massive projection. Carrie Lake has won the governorship out of the state of Arizona. A lot of Republicans question her electability early on, but nevertheless, she has fought it out and she has won the governorship in the state of Arizona, partially due to her opponent's uh, ludicrous statements before the election, Katie Hobbs. Uh, out of the state of Wisconsin, we can make a projection. The Red Eagle Politics Decision Desk can project Jonathan Wichman, the winner out of the state of Wisconsin for the governorship, a flip into the Republican column. Out of the state of Minnesota, we can project that Tim Walls will hold on for yet another term. Uh, nationally, he was very despised for his lack of action during the riots, but nevertheless, Minnesota is a very strange state and has decided to elect him anyways. So Republicans now have a majority of state houses with 26, but there's a lot of uh, governorships up for grabs, especially in some 2024 swing states, and we'll see who wins them uh, pretty shortly. So it's 12 o'clock on the East Coast. We have a new day. Uh, Alaska and Hawaii have their polls closing as we speak, and Alaska, Mike Dunleavy, we can project him uh, another term, and the Radical Politics Decision Desk can project Josh Green has won the governorship in the state of Hawaii. So currently Republicans 27 and 19 on the map here. Uh, new key race alert out of Georgia, David Perdue with 96% of the voting. They're going to they're gonna call this one pretty quickly here uh, with a two and a half point lead. Uh, Michigan, James Craig maintains his lead over Gretchen Whitmer with 93% of the vote in. He leads by three. Out of the state of Nevada, Joe Lombardo, Sheriff Joe, expands his lead to four points over half the vote is in. Out of the state of Pennsylvania, Lou Barletta uh, with a lead over Josh Shapiro. That has expanded. There's a little bit of Pittsburgh left to come in. That might narrow the margin, but uh, he seems to be on a very, very good track right now. So we can now make a major projection. David Perdue has won the governorship out of the state of Georgia, successfully primaried uh, Brian Kemp with the help of Donald Trump. And Perdue has won in the state of Georgia. Out of the state of Michigan, James Craig can be projected the winner uh, by a solid margin over Gretchen Whitmer. Republicans, they scramble to find a candidate to defeat Gretchen Whitmer, James Craig. Uh, has won tonight, mainly due to his strength in the rural areas and their opposition to Gretchen Whitmer's restrictions. So now it's 29 to 19 on the map. Two states left to call. We have more key race alerts. Joe Lombardo still with a lead over Steve Sisolak, 81% of the vote in. He leads by three out of the state of Pennsylvania. Lou Barletta leads by a point and a half. 98% of the vote is in, and we can now make a major projection out of Nevada. Sheriff Joe Lombardo has won mainly due to his strength in Clark County. The realignment continues in Nevada. Uh, Steve Sisolak, the incumbent, has been knocked off. Joe Lombardo declared the victor. And out of the state of Pennsylvania, the Red Eagle Politics Decision Desk can project Lou Barletta uh, from Lou Zern County. He has been projected the winner out of the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, yet another flip into the Republican column. The map, 3119 final map, and that's going to do it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this election night video. Please like this video down below, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications so you never miss another video. Follow me on social media. The links are all in the description below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Red Eagle, out.